In this episode of Your Guide on Ghana, I am at Atoko Slave Market and I get an opportunity to speak to a man who said that his forefathers were supposed to be enslaved on the ships that were being that were sending captured enslaved Africans to the Americas. Somehow his family ended up staying in Ghana, and so I spoke to him. So here's his story. I hope you like this episode. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and to share this video. Welcome to this episode of Your Guide on Ghana. My name is Ivy Prosper. And this episode, I speak to a man who said that his family, his forefathers, were supposed to have been taken on the slave ships with the captured enslaved Africans during the transatlantic slave trade. However, his family was left behind. So I speak to him briefly in this episode of Your Guide on Ghana in Keta, in the Volta region of Ghana. So people don't really know that there were people slaves in Ghana. People really don't know that the black Americans who say they are slaves and all that. Some of us were bought. Me, for example, I was bought from Wale Wale in the northern Ghana. Your family was bought from yeah, the nor from northern, from northern Ghana. Ghana. From Wale Wale in the northern Ghana. But I've never been there before. Mm -hmm. This is my home. Okay. So just like the black Americans see America as their home, I also see this place as my home. I've never been to Wale Wale before, but that is where my forefathers uh, actually came from. This needed not to be a secret. I mean, everybody should learn the lesson from, from these type of things. This, the history here is that most of them came from Nigeria, that's Ibadan, Dahomey, Cameroon, and all the way to Lome and brought this way. Mm -hmm. And then, Keta was a major seaport, mm -hmm. and so that was where that's where they built the fort as a trading post initially, and then it was turned into the slave uh, dungeons and things for the slaves. So they kept them there and were sending them on the sea across. So all these people became smaller, smaller markets where they could bring them, buy them, and then transport them to Keta. So that's how it became a slave market. Okay, this big grandparents were bought by the chief of the town. Then that then chief of the town. So you now they buy the slaves and also resell them. But somehow his parents were not sold, were not sent to the mark uh, to the to the Keta, but rather were kept here in the chief's palace, as slaves in the palace. So they grew up in the palace and so he's now a man integral, but he's the secretary to the to the two. But if you go into the history, his great grandfather was a slave who was brought by the chief of the town. Unfortunately, his great grandfather was not added to those who were shipped out, mm. and that's how he remained here. Their family remained here. So it's an interwoven. If you go to Keta currently, there are homes, families that were slaves. Some resistant, some resisted, others did not resist, but were bought, but they were never shipped across. But they also not from Keta per se, but rather they were from the neighboring countries that were shipped, bought, and brought there. And they remained there. They were slaves, and they have houses there. So we are trying to what we're trying to do is see how see how we can identify all these houses because most of them have moved from here. They have gone to Accra, they are saying they're not coming back. But the houses are getting rotten. So we want to see if we can identify them and see that we can have from the means of renovating them and then now adding them to the slave roots uh, project. So that when our brothers and sisters come down, they can have practical place homes where we were here when the first place together with the linkage to the port. And you can see with all the sea, there's a big problem here. Mm -hmm. time you do it after some time, the sea erodes the, the, the salt. We don't know what we can do to get it properly done. But what he's now taking them through is the sequences that used to occur. That they came by ship, so you can see them. You can see the whites. Mm -hmm. In my chief. These are the traditional homes, these are the chiefs, the convents, or whatever. We do all kinds of labor and things and meet them, entertain them, and then how gradually it turned into slavery. Mm -hmm. So that's the history he's given all around mm -hmm. until they were moved away. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's what he's given. 
there is a brief history about Atoko. Atoko, the very first name of Atoko is Tinasu Ope. Now, uh, Tinasu is a name of the first settler here. And Tinasu planted a tree in a way called Poploti. And under this tree, Akans, Fantis, and Gans, all of them came around to do, to trade in fish. Now, when they, they come, you know, the area, there were a lot of mosquitoes. So when these people come, the uh, mosquito, the, 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 the bites from the mosquito tend to worry them a lot. So in their local language, they say that when they come, meto uh, ako, meto ako, I don't have to waste time till evening because the mosquitoes normally come in the evening. So they say meto ako, meto ako asana adiasa. So that is how come the name metamorphosis into metoko metoko down atoko. The indigents who were also uh, part of the slave trade were Togbi, uh, Togbi Nindokuchu. And uh, Togbi Dosu himself. In fact, Togbi Dosu himself was able to garner some of the slaves to Benin. Uh, an area in Benin called uh, Benin Lokosa Dota. And so when you go to Benin Lokosa Dota today, you can see a museum to that effect. So basically, that is how the slave trade went in, uh, in Atoko here. Um, I was hearing that you, uh, he said that your family was a family that was um, originally um, supposed to be enslaved, but somehow it didn't happen and you remained here. Yes. So your family was supposed to be sent out, yes. but they didn't get sent out. Yes. Do you know why they didn't get sent out? So your family was supposed to be sent on those ships to yes. go out to the Americas, yes. but did not. Yes. Do you know the story as to why? Yes. Please, can you share? Uh, yeah. You see, what actually happened was that uh, those days when the chiefs buy the slaves, they buy them in numbers. And so when they sell some, some remain here to, to, to help them and to do whatever work uh, they want them to do for them. Of course, you're going to market, you buy items, you don't sell off all, you use some of them. So we happen to be those that they feel they can use locally. So your family was used locally uh, of course. to work uh, yes. uh, as enslaved Africans uh, for who? We were not really treated as slaves, mm -hmm. uh, even though we were bought as slaves. Those of us who were used locally by our forefather now, you see, uh, he was a chief, so we serve in the palace. We uh, actually were adopted, he adopted us, and today uh, we are one of his children because we share in, the, in all his inheritance even including the stool. Some of us, our fathers were, were a stool as chiefs as well. But we all know that uh, we were bought as part of the slaves who mm -hmm. were taken outside. So that means the chief at that time was involved in buying slaves uh, or? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, the chiefs at that time uh, were powerful. 
was through them that the the, the, the Europeans have the way to, to get mm -hmm. the people to buy. Mm -hmm. So how was it? Do you know how they were the Europeans were able to convince chiefs like him? Uh, yes. They, how did they do they, it? They, they use uh, cowrie, mm -hmm. which was the currency at the time. At that time, mm -hmm. and sometimes they, they exchange with drinks, foreign drinks. Mm -hmm. Uh, guns mm -hmm. and those type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So did they? Did the chief know that they would have been brutalized the way they were, or what? What was the expectation? Because I've I've heard from a historian at the um, University of Ghana that some of the people who were involved didn't know how brutal it was going to be. W was that the case with that chief? Do you know, or you're not aware? Uh, uh, the they, they wouldn't know mm -hmm. because uh, it's just like uh, leadership, you know, in modern day uh, uh, African uh, governors, leadership, uh, uh, leaders take from foreign corruption and all that, they take to enrich themselves. Don't really know that they are putting their citizens uh, into uh, suffering. It's the same thing that happened at that time. The chiefs then uh, were enriching themselves by taking from the Europeans and selling their own people. Uh, they were not anticipating that uh, they could be treated in, in that manner. And so now you said your family has been adopted into the chief's palace yes, yes okay yes. so what is your role uh, currently i'm the stool secretary you're the stool secretary yes, yes, okay for the chief okay the, the chief the chief actually passed on oh. so he is the regent he is acting in place of the, the chief he's acting in he place of the chief, the chief until there's a chief until in stool he's still another chief. oh i see okay all right Thank you.